Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of JAG TV. I'm Jessica Albina. And I'm Alex Moore. This holiday season has officially arrived and in grand fashion. And it all took place in downtown Blue Springs with food, music, lights, and fireworks. Garrett Tobin was there and has the report. Matt, you ready for the tree to be lit? Yeah! Last Tuesday, the city of Blue Springs kicked off the Christmas season with an annual celebration of lighting the Christmas tree with the mayor. This event helps get the city together and brings a sense of holiday spirit to our community. Well, this has been an incredible night. For the second year in a row, we've had fantastic weather. I've got a fantastic co-host with Pete Grigsby. Uh, we had all kind of entertainment. It was just fantastic this year. I mean, it got your blood circulating. The event also had a lot of fun things to do for the kids, include meeting Santa, who also stopped by to celebrate and to find out what the kids wanted under their tree this year. And if you weren't here, you missed out on a treat. And next year, you need to start planning for this event. Well, there you have it, Jags. This is a great way to start off the holiday season in Blue Springs. If you didn't see it, you can come down anytime this holiday season to check out this fantastic looking tree. I'm Garrett Tobin, reporting for Jag TV here in downtown Blue Springs. Back to you. And speaking of the holiday season, students and staff here at South were busy this week collecting items to help the needy. Every fifth hour class has adopted a local family buying and collecting needed items in the name of giving. Today was the last day of collecting these items. JAG TV will have the latest update on Adopt a Family next week. And in the name of giving, a South grad from last year has returned to make a huge cash donation that will help local families. All Province has the story. Thanks, Alex. One of our graduated Jaguars, Brent Henderson, earned a scholarship that donated $500 to Blue Springs South's Adopt a Family program. I caught up with Brent to talk about his great accomplishment. I received a scholarship from GE and along with that they gave $500 that goes to South. The name of the scholarship Brent received is called the GE Star Award. The scholarship includes a financial award of $3,500 to Brent along with $500 donated to Blue Springs South. Mr. Davis got to decide where that money went and he decided to split it between the food pantry here at South and the adoptive family program. It's a great accomplishment by Brent to help out our school. Thanks Paul. There's another way all you Jaguars can give back, and it's a gift that saves lives. That's right, and it's something you could all do right here in South High School. Garen Dudley explains. Next Thursday in the gym, South will be holding a huge event. Next Thursday, December 12th, DECA will be hosting their annual blood drive. The goal is to get over 100 pints of blood. And it serves as a vital resource for our community because uh, blood donations are needed 365 days a year, but obviously everybody gets really busy during the holidays, and it makes it really tough for people to get in there. So they really count on high school blood drives to help with that. You must be 16 or older and 115 pounds plus. To participate, no matter how old you are, you must have a permission slip. Be sure to sign up for our blood drive during lunch. I'm Garen Dudley for Jack TV. Back to you. Thanks, Garen. Straight ahead, we have a fundraiser that's totally out of this world. Band members try out for the big time. You are watching JAG TV, Blue Spring South High School. Hi JAGs, Matt Mitchell here at Culver's. I know you're looking for that perfect holiday gift for everyone on your list. We've got that for you right here at Culver's. The reloadable gift card, perfect for anybody on your list. You can get it in any denomination, but if you buy it for $25 or more, you get a free value basket here at Culver's. This one you get to keep. You could use it for a gift. You're probably gonna wanna keep that for yourself. So anything on the menu, folks, the Culver's reloadable gift card works for everything we have. It spends just like money. There's got to be someone on your list that's going to want one of those. Have a great holiday. Hey Jags, I'm Angela with Red Button Clothing Exchange, where we sell all the hottest gently used name brand clothing, shoes, and accessories at 40 to 90% off retail prices. We offer many sizes, styles, and brands, including Miss Me, Rock Revival, BKE, Victoria's Secret, Hollister, and many more. 
And remember, Jags, we also buy your gently used items daily for cash. Come check us out after school, Tuesday through Friday, 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. a chance to throw spares and strikes and raise money at the same time. And done at a place out of this world. Mm -hmm. Strike the night is a night guaranteed to be full of fun and is going to a good cause. With more, I'm with Sarah Smedley. Um, what we are is the Youth Advisory Council for the Truman Heartland Foundation. Uh, we, uh, what we do is we advise the adults of the Truman Heartland Foundation on where they should give their hundreds of thousands of dollars that they have. So this fundraiser, Strike in the Night, is um, to support our Youth Advisory Council and the meetings that we have throughout the year. Strike the Night is held at Lunar Bowl tonight at 10.30 to 1. There will be bowling, karaoke, and snacks, so don't miss out on this. You can buy your tickets from anyone in the Strike the Night t-shirt for $13, or you can pay $15 at the door. So Jags, please help your fellow Jaguars achieve their goal. I'm Devin Kane reporting for Jag TV. Thanks, Devin. And here are a few other dates to keep in mind. Tuesday, December 10th, is the Winter Band Concert at 7 p.m. in the PAC. It's free and open to anyone. Wednesday, December 11th, is Late Start. School will begin at 8.10 a.m. And on Thursday, December 12th, is the Choir Concert in the PAC at 7 p.m. That, too, is free to anyone. Come and enjoy the holiday sounds and music. Now, speaking of the band, there are a few members of the Jaguar Pride who have not only won districts, but are now ready to take on state. Kate Grigsby explains. After the successful marching band season, 11 of our Jaguar Pride members tried out for all district concert band. Seven made it, which was a huge success. Um, it's a lot of fun, but it takes a lot of practice too. Um, I practice almost every day, but you know, it's worth it and it's a great opportunity and it's a great experience. Triads begin this Saturday at very early morning, and the process can take all day as they perform solos in front of many judges. It takes a lot of practice, but it's well worth it. It's a really cool experience. I did it last year, and it was one of the coolest things I've done in high school. And of course, if any of our band members make state band, we'll let you know. I'm Kate Grigsby for JAG TV. Back to you. Thank you, Kate, and good luck to all those band members. Now we move on to academics and say congratulations to Sydney Moore a senior who attended a scholar's weekend at Stevens College in Columbia, where she did a series of interviews with faculty and an essay writing to compete in a, for a four-year tuition scholarship, and she won. She was presented with a check for $84,000 during her AP Lit class. Wow, congratulations to her. Wow, that is so amazing and good for her. Coming up, the latest in JAG Sports and a different look into the month of December. This is JAG TV. Just in time for the holiday season, the very latest fashions and gifts at special events. Keep your head and hands warm with these brand new head wraps, hats and fingerless gloves. How about the biggest name brand of jeans? We have LA Idol and Grace, both bootleg and skinny, even plus sizes. Are you into jewelry, necklaces, earrings and bracelets? No problem. We have the coolest theme jewelry, infinity, cancer awareness, hearts, crosses, nauticals, owls. The biggest selection of watches in all of Jackson County. Whatever your taste, we have the style to match. We even have a selection that's all about the hair. Hair bands, bows, and novelty brushes. Looking for custom bling shirts, hats, purses, and scarves? We have those too. And don't forget, downstairs is the largest dancewear store in the area. Dance and treads and threads. So, this holiday season, your one-stop shop is right in Blue Springs, all on the corner of 11th and Main. That's special events with extended holiday hours, Tuesday through Saturday. All new leather seats in every auditorium. All new digital projectors. 
We have the newest in 3D capabilities. Now that's what I'm talking about. All new digital surround sound like you've never heard before. All new popcorn machine with real butter. We have the lowest concession prices in the whole area. And all new affordable ticket prices. The lobby is even new. Yeah, these are new too. The basketball team played its first game last Tuesday and the score was 90 to 58 against Truman. Its leading scores were Jacob Tower with 20 points and Kevin Perrier had his first double-double with 17 points and 10 rebounds. The next game is next week in the McDonald's tournament at Blue Springs on December 10th and in other news the boys wrestlers have a match Tuesday here against Raypeg South and Pleasant Hill at 5 o'clock. The girls basketball team has their next game next week in the McDonald's tournament here starting on Monday. The girls swimming team has a meet here Tuesday at 4 o'clock against Liberty and St. Louis. That's it for sports. Now here's a deeper look into December. I'm Gage Jackson here at the South Jagden, and this winter we have new Jag Nation shirts made specifically for the upcoming basketball season. I'm here with Colin Montgomery for more information. In my first hour advanced marketing class, um, me and Ms. Ray got this great idea to make a long sleeve t-shirt in hopes of a wide out for basketball season this winter. This winter, help support our school's basketball teams by stopping in the Jag Den to buy the new Jag Nation shirts. Get yours for only $12.50 and be sure to wear it to all the Jaguar basketball games and show your school spirit. The $12.50, they're Jag Nation. Uh, we hope to build school spirit. Uh, we ordered 130 of them. Um, so go ahead and stop by the Jag Den and get one. Thanks. So make sure to swing by the Jag Den and pick up your Jag Nation shirts. I'm Gage Jackson with Jag TV. Back to you. That's it for this week's JAG TV. For the quickest way in getting school closings, sign up for JAG Alerts at jagnewsonline.com. Sign up. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.